Now at five, one woman has died following a fire on board a casino ferry off the west coast of Tampa. She was one of 50 people on board the boat when an engine caught fire. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez has the dramatic scene as it played out. Elliot. Rick and Ruta Bay, the shuttle to the Tropical Breeze Casino runs to and from the town of Port Ritchie twice a day. People on shore noticed the boat sounded different on Sunday. Just moments before, they saw thick black smoke billowing from the ship's stern. Dramatic video taken from shore shows passengers jumping from the flaming shuttle boat carrying 50 passengers. Police say the vessel had just started a roughly three mile journey to an offshore casino cruise when the captain noticed something was wrong with the engine. Next thing you know, he started seeing smoke, and that's when he decided to beach the boat up on the shore. We're coming as fast as we can. Oh my God. Video taken by Lisa Schultz shows flames engulfing the boat in a matter of minutes. We were nervous that it was going to, you know, blow up. You could feel the heat off of it. She and her husband rushed to help those forced into the cold Gulf water. We had to get into the water at one point, um, and it was just freezing, and they were jumping off the front of it. We had to jump probably, what, eight, eight or ten feet? To the water. To the water. Passengers made it to shore wading through yards of shallow water to reach emergency personnel and nearby homeowners who had come out of their homes to help. They were pulling clothes out of their closets to bring out to us to put on to keep warm. Authorities say the decision to turn the boat around by the captain prevented a major disaster. I have to praise the boat captain for getting that boat in so close that when they got in the water, they had a very short distance to walk. Now, the 42-year-old woman who lost her life had been taken to the hospital in critical condition. No word on the cause of death.